I'm Ian Somerville and I'm the author of a software engineering textbook that's been around since the 1980s in different editions. And this is the latest edition, the 10th edition, which I've just received some of the initial printed copies. It's due to be available later in 2015. In this video, I want to talk about the changes I've made in the 10th edition and why I've made these changes. It's a generally good principle of writing that you write about what you know about and what I've been involved with in my career are large and complex software systems developed from organisations which are intended to meet some need of that organisation. Three things have prompted the changes in this edition of the book. The need for agility. Businesses have to respond more quickly to the changing business environment. They need Software needs to be delivered more quickly. It needs to be easier to change. The need for resilience. The internet has given rise to a whole new series of threats to our software systems which in conjunction with the ubiquity of these systems where they're embedded in all aspects of everyday life means that we need to build systems that can continue to deliver essential services even when they're under external attack. And complexity. The size of systems has been getting larger and larger and Along with that, so has their complexity. I believe we are reaching the limits of complexity that current software engineering techniques can handle. I talk about that in this book, and I talk about how we can build these complex systems by integrating systems of systems. I've retained the four-part structure, which I had in previous versions of the book, where the first part is an introduction to the topic, the second looks at security and dependability. The third at a number of advanced topics of software engineering and the final part on software management. I made a number of changes in each part, however. In the first part, the theme is agility. I've updated the chapter in Agile Methods to reflect the widespread use of Scrum and agility is pervasive throughout this part. I've updated several of the chapters to take into account changes due to the need for agile software delivery. Security and dependability are, in my opinion, the most important attributes of good software. And I've changed part two in a number of important ways. First of all, I've moved away from the, the topic-based organisation where I talked about specification, implementation and testing and change that to a theme-based organisation. So I have a, a reliability theme, a safety theme, a security theme, and a new chapter on resilience engineering. This provides the ability to select issues such as security and resilience without necessarily covering all aspects of dependability. And of course, I have a, a dependability introduction that pulls these chapters together. In chapter three, advanced software engineering, I've introduced two new chapters, one on systems engineering and one on systems of systems. These are driven by complexity. I talk about complexity in these chapters. I talk about the relationships between systems and software engineering. I've also dropped Aspect-oriented software engineering from this part. Aspect-oriented software engineering is something that had a lot of potential which hasn't really been realised. It's still available as an electronic chapter. In part four on software management, there have been two important changes. I've updated the chapter on configuration management to reflect the widespread use of Git and GitHub as distributed configuration management systems. And I contrast these with repository-based systems such as Subversion. And I've dropped the chapter on process improvement. This is a topic that was particularly important in the 
1990s and in the early years of the 21st century, but now seems to have get much less attention within organisations where agility is seen as the way to improve processes. And you're watching one of the most important changes in the 10th edition. As well as the textual material in the book, I've published more than 40 videos which are available freely on YouTube, which back up that material in which I talk about various topics which are covered in different chapters of the book. I've also looked at YouTube and selected videos from there that can be used to supplement chapters in the book. There's lots and lots of other videos in, on YouTube. I certainly haven't looked at them all, but I've chosen ones that I think are particularly appropriate. So my new software engineering book will be available in late spring, early summer 2015. I hope you find it useful.